Uh, hello, my name is Natalia Vikulina. I'm a visual artist based in London and I work across different disciplines combining analog and digital mediums. I am interested in how new technologies transform art and how the same technologies transform our way of uh, thinking and creating. In February 2022, uh, during my sole exhibition at Wilson Gallery, I have presented my virtual reality experience sketch fields uh, together with the drawings, real objects, uh, real objects and screen prints. And today I would like to talk about this um, project more in, more in depth. So the idea behind the project is that uh, I, I wanted to investigate the human ability to project our feelings and consciousness onto inanimate natural objects, such as rocks, plants, or soil. In other words, to animate different things around us. It's both an artist's diary and a futuristic landscape. Uh, when you enter the world, one of the first things you see is a sign saying, let this be my diary, but in my diary you will be the main protagonist. The statement welcomes viewers into the virtual world. The viewers become guests in someone else's consciousness. In this virtual world, things that we normally consider to be inanimate now have life and voice. Uh, the viewers stroll between quotes, drawings, gigantic pieces of wood. They can hear that the objects are speaking to them. As the world is inhabited with gigantic pieces of wood, one of my first tasks uh, was to create 3D models of them. Some of the models were initially 3D scanned. Uh, there is lots of software uh, there for, for 3D scanning. I uh, ended up using uh, an app called Terneo, but there are many other options as well. After uh, scanning, I brought uh, the scans into Blender to polish it, and then into Unity to create uh, the world. Uh, I wanted to have a contrast between photorealistic scan models and something that uh, appear almost hand-drawn. So some other models uh, were, were made uh, with um, software called Quill, which is a painting and animation software for virtual reality. Um, I chose Quill because of it, 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 its distinctly unique style. The models made in Quill feel much more like drawings or paintings, and I really like uh, this contrast between the photoreal photorealism of the scan model and abstraction of the model drawn in Quill. Uh, the sketch fields, uh, a virtual reality experience, is currently available for downloading for free. Uh, the app is currently designed for devices connected to, um, to the PC, which means it might be too heavy for the headsets like Oculus Quest, uh, which is not a tethered device. However, we are working on a lighter web version and I hope we will release it soon. Uh, 
thank you for your attention. Uh, I hope to see you uh, in future. And for more information, please visit my website. And the link is below. Thank you.